San Antonio's most accurate forecast for zone weather. All right, the sun is out. <laughs> the flash has nothing on him because, you know, He's got a ways to move. What was that, half a second, Beamer? Look, his chair is still spinning. During your, your, your <laughs> special nice open, I just can move. Aren't you lucky I have a special open? <laughs> you do. Yes. Yes, that lasts a good five seconds. Where were you out and about today? I was today? in El Dorado. I love going to schools. Here, Aww. let me show it to camera 85. There we go. El Dorado Elementary School got some picks. Fifth graders. They had all, I mean, they're really sharp at fifth grade. It's kind of oh. scary, actually. Let me show you what's going on. Here's the <laughs> yeah. pictures. This is a great group. Sunny faces. They had great questions. I asked them what the speed of light was, and they knew it. I wasn't real sure. I had to ask. No, I'm just. But thanks anyway for having everybody out. Uh, the whole fifth grade was out there. There's our teachers, fifth grade teachers. Thank you to everybody at El Dorado Elementary School. We've got still some more schools to go to here in the near future. Well, everything's kind of moving west to east, which is typical for us. Last big storm pushing out, another one coming in from the west coast. We're kind of in between the two, and we've had this very weak boundary coming through, so we're getting some nice breaks across the area. You can see a dry line also coming in through the area, so that is what kind of finally broke up the muck we'd had for weeks. And we're expecting this by tomorrow afternoon to really have a much more of a front. Tonight, tomorrow morning, we'll get this system to come through. Most of the moisture really seems to be out uh, east of us, so don't expect real thunderstorms. We have some in the forecast really more for Sunday. But that really depends on how shallow this front comes through, meaning can the water move over the top of it, fuel up the air for us that we'll have something to work with. Otherwise, Sunday's going to be nice and quiet. 60s across the panhandle, 70s. So this isn't really cold air as much as it is dry air, and that's sufficient to break out the cloud cover. So because we had a little more sun out west, El Rio made it up to 74, 73. We're also at 73, 60s up across the panhandle. Watch it. High resolution satellite imagery shows you that kind of almost compression as that dry air comes in and things begin to respond to it. Radar echoes. Yesterday we had some little, about 6, 7 o'clock, we had some nice little rain move through the area. That's since diminished. Aquifer 636.2 hasn't really changed a great deal in the last 24 hours. So tonight then, just partly cloudy, 57, a north wind coming in about uh, 10 to 15. Then as we get into tomorrow, it'll still be a mostly cloudy day, which means you will see the sun break through. Uh, with winds coming across the area. And then tomorrow we'll see things looking much better as well out over the different zones, west, hill country, and eastern. We'll start to see more sun break through the area. And here's the seven-day outlook again. That 30% that we've got on Sunday is depending on this front kind of falling apart. It'll cool us down, but we should get enough water over the top of it to get us a little bit of rain. You notice there isn't a ton of rain, just consistent for several days, but it'll all clear out by Christmas time. With a rock and roll marathon Sunday morning. Mm. Yeah, I don't really see a lot of rain. Honestly, I'm hoping this front dries everything out. Boy, Good. And, yeah, you said 60s on Sunday? That's yeah. not bad.